Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're going to be playing The Convenience Store. And this is a Japanese indie horror game where you are set as working the night shift at, obviously, The Convenience Store. I'm actually very excited to play this one because this is made by Chula's Art, which is the same creators as The Closing Shift that we played pretty recently as well. And it was actually another sort of like night shift daily job sort of game. And that one was from 2022, whereas this one is from 2020. So it'll be very interesting to see kind of the areas that they improved on, and as well as just to see the sort of differences because they are kind of similar themes. See how much they can kind of switch it up. Anyways, as always, we will be streaming this live on Twitch, so if you see a little track on the side, I'm talking to people, that is why. Also, if you're subscribe to me here on YouTube, give this video a thumbs up. If you end up liking it, it helps me a lot. Otherwise, let's just go and get started. Here we go. It's time. We need to get ready for work. Let's see, is this my apartment? Uh, Slept well. I didn't know there was voice lines in this one. Okay, okay. The fucking walls look like they're bleeding, dude. What the hell? It's dark outside. Can I go out on my balcony? Is that my store? Is that the convenience store? <laughs> and it's got another chinchilla. The last game we played as well also had a chinchilla. I didn't put two and two together until today that it's because it's Chila's art that it's probably like a- <laughs> They probably put one of these in all of their games or something. Oh, I can open my fridge. Oh, 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 yes, yes, of course. You should eat before you go. Warm up? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Um... There's also a TV here. I don't think I can interact with anything else, though. Oh, I can explore! Okay. Uh, is this my whole apartment? This is my fucking kitchen. Okay, okay. Gotta bring flashlight. Flashlight? Oh, this one here. Pick up flashlight, yes please. Oh, that's so much better, actually. <laughs> oh, my food's ready. Hold on. Scooching back. Eat bento? Yes, sir! Alright. <laughs> Can I open this one? Wow, my bathroom looks fucking filthy, dude. This whole apartment looks sketchy as fuck, actually. I can't open this door. I don't know why. Okay, down we go, I suppose. <laughs> I need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight before I leave. Oh, I forgot to put on my fucking uniform. Here? Change clothes, yes please. Wow, the fucking city looks kind of cool, though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to get to my job, so I'm just gonna follow the lampposts because that's probably <laughs> that's probably how you how you go about this. Let's go down here. Okay, okay, we're finding our way. I don't think I'll be able to interact with anything on the way. Okay. Oh, crossing a bridge. A little spooky. Okay. Oh my god, my sweet haven. Okay, the brightest fucking building here. Is this my job? How's it going? Hello. I know what really happened here. What happened? I was called to warn you all. Huh? By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Alright buddy, thank you for the warning. I appreciate it, but you didn't really warn me of what did actually happen here. Okay, <laughs> let's just go in. Okay, okay. Holy hell, it's bright in here. Hello. Um, I work here, right? Oh god, you made it. Huh? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. What the fuck? Well, it wasn't me. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Huh? Scary stuff. Only this was a true story. Yeah, yeah. Ha ha ha. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> alright. Are you my co-worker? Can I look around? Oh my god, we got a cup of noodles. What are these? We got some, uh, brightly colored chips, perhaps? Oh, fuck. Okay. Something about this poster? I feel attracted to it. Hey, uh, <laughs> okay, well, uh, you know, each to their own, I suppose. I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Who's Austin Lee? I suppose this fella on the front here, but I don't really know if that's an actual person or not. Can I go into the bathroom? Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Uh, oddly convincing. Yeah, 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 we always keep it. I got a, a bidet on this one too. Wow, okay. These models are scary true. Why the clerk kind of cute though? <laughs> Two very different reactions. <laughs> Can I? Okay, maybe I shouldn't go back here. Let me let me clock in first or something. Looks like some are expired. 
Uh, okay. Well, hold on. Let, let's clock in, I suppose. Enter the counter? Yes, please. Wow, this guy is a fucking gamer. Look at that posture. <laughs> That's what I look like from the side too, dude. <laughs> Holy, what kind of games you play? In s oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, what is this? I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Yeah, of course. Your manager. Is this my manager, or are we just co-workers? What is this? Oh, is this my punch card? Uh, where? Hey, where do I? Where? Oh, sorry. Where do I? Punch this in. Normally it's on the wall. Uh oh, this one here. Punch in? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Normally the punch cards are like maybe here or something. Okay, we'll see you later. You're not even gonna say goodbye. What should we name him? Should we name him like Steve? Billy? Josh? Kevin? What's a generic name? <laughs> Okay, let's let's uh let's see what else I needed to do here. <laughs> I take back what I said after seeing his profile. What? You don't like the gamer posture? <laughs> okay, can I use CCTV? Oh, security camera? Oh my goodness. Okay, so A and D to go left and right. Zoom is right mouse button. What the hell? Hello? Oh my god, there's a customer. Oh shit, okay. Sorry sir, I'll be with you in just a moment. Welcome to uh, the convenience store. How can I help you today? Can I talk to him? Hello? Hey, wow. Oh god, he just phased through me. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh my god, his eyebrows. There was uh, expired food here, right? Take the items off the shelf. Yes, please. What about this one? Can I do them? Okay, I might have to do it one at a time. Do I just like toss it in the bat? Wow, this is terrifying. Okay. Oh, we got some beer. We got a chair here. Is this where I take my break? There's trash cans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Hello, nobody spooky back here. Trash expired food, yes please. What happened over here? Is this caution tape or construction tape? There's like a house back there or something. Maybe like a warehouse? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go back inside. Can I help you with anything, sir? Are you done? Oh, you're just waiting for me, huh? You are giving us that look right there. All right, let me... <laughs> let, me let me get that uh, rung up for you, sir. Uh, let me scan your items, please. Good heavens, that was loud. Thank you, come again. Okay, see ya. 13 bucks an hour night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. It's not the best of pay, but you know what? It's probably not the worst either. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Anyone need some assistance, perhaps? Oh, did they come in already? I didn't see them. What? Eh? What? What incarnation is happening? Uh, I didn't see anybody come in. Unless somebody did. Anybody out here? I did see headlights. <gasps> oh fuck! Hi. I'm here to deliver a package. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was like, I definitely saw headlights, but <laughs> okay. Hello. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? Yeah, a little bit late. We recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Well, wow, that is quite convenient, actually. <laughs> Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. My tag? I think this is for you. For me? What's- wow, I have no feet. What's the tag say? Uh, okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, take it home? Huh? No? I don't know. Do I take that home? If it's for the store, then I should open it here, right? Do I have like a knife or something like that? Ghost-shaped friend? Do you think a ghost was the one setting off the doors? It could be. All right, I guess I gotta bring this home. Jesus, oh my God. Someone put a fucking vibrator in the box? Jesus Christ, what is happening? Okay, I guess we're home. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, that wasn't me. What are you, what are you cooking in there? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, we got a tape. I feel like watching a spooky tape is probably what you shouldn't be doing on it. Oh my God, that's so loud. I'm turning down the volume. <laughs> Okay, watch closely? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Oh, is this where the- uh, we had tape like this on the back of our store. 
somebody watching me? I didn't actually see if I was there or not, if, if it was just a POV. Unless there's more tape like that somewhere else as well. Okay, well, is this like a new day? Can I, can I put on my uniform? Do I need- wow, we have no food. Okay, maybe I should pick up some food while we're at work or something like that. Let's just grab my flashlight and go to work, I suppose. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Because I kind of thought I would need to like, you know, get changed and- Okay, first night. Okay, was that necessary? Okay, don't worry. Jesus Christ. All right, wow, it's significantly darker this time around. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking run. What happened to the street lights, dude? I can't see shit. All right, we back. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Hey, hey, <laughs> so I heard you reported that the doors opened on their own. Yeah, they did. I, I'm a little bit concerned about that. Well, we got a guy to check out the sensor and it seemed like the wirings were loose. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. Yeah, my fucking bad, Steve. I guess I'm the fucking dumbass. All right. Would you please punch in? Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. I'm your shift relief, aren't I? <laughs> Punching, yes please. Okay, bye Steve. Have a good rest of your night or whatever you're gonna go do. I hope you get it winning all of your games. Okay, what do I have to do today? I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. It wasn't me, okay? The first person to see this note has to get rid of those rodents ASAP. You're mad. Hey Steve, you fucking jackass. <laughs> it was your job. You were here first. What the fuck? Let's see what's on. Wow, someone, that's not even just left open. Somebody tipped that shit all the way over. What the fuck? Hello? Oh, it's an old lady. Okay. <laughs> okay, a little spooky. Do you need any help? Wow, you look so happy. I can't talk to you, apparently. All right, well, welcome on in. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm just gonna go and uh, get rid of some rats in the back. Not that we have any rats here, of course. We're a very cleanly establishment, of course, of course. Um, How am I... Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> it's like, how am I supposed to get rid of them and just like grab a broom or something? Okay. Oh, hello! Wow, that sounded like I was either putting whipped cream on you or that I just absorbed you into this can. <laughs> okay, so this is where the videotape was from. The videotape looked like someone was behind tape looking through, but that they were also looking at a different area that was taped off, so I'm not sure if that's for sure where it was. Poor rats! It's okay, it's okay. We're just, uh, we're popping them in the can for safety, and I'm gonna take them home, and, uh, they will be my pets. I guess I should go and help the old lady. She was moving very slowly, so I think we'll probably be fine. All right. <clears throat> yes, yes, now that we're all done with that, maybe I should go wash my hands, because I just touched a bunch of rats. Did she leave? Hello? Oh, she might be in the bathroom, actually. Okay. <laughs> I can't open the door for that. All right. Any, any spooky... Oh, another customer. Hello? Hey, jackass, park in your spot. Wow, he looks like a fucking... Oh, I don't like the looks of you. <laughs> Go behind the counter. Oh my god. Hello? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Five cans? You don't want just like a... S Hurry up! Okay, bitch, Jesus, get it yourself, asshole. Psycho, get it yourself. That's what I'm saying! God, I'm not- I'm not a fucking fetching service. I'm gonna get this one can at a time for you because you're fucking- you're rude, so I'm gonna go as slow as humanly possible, apparently. <laughs> I feel like I could, you know, maybe grab one in each hand, but, uh, you know, not for this guy, of course, not for this guy. And then I'm guessing the cigars are back here, right? Because cigars- oh, these ones here. I, this kind of looks like cigarette. Okay. Uh, let me scan your item. Well, at least he said thank you. No, I was probably me saying thank you. Okay, never mind. He's still an asshole. <laughs> How's it going? Wow, you are so happy, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> Where's Kenkun? Kenkun? Who? You know where Kenkun is? I don't know who that is. I thought I heard his voice. Was it the asshole who just came in here? Because if he's yours, you should talk to him. <laughs> this was my daughter's house. Your daughter's house? What did you do? How dare you? I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh my God, look at her. She's hustling now. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Can I give you a hand with anything? Do you want to buy anything? Are you walking home? You want me to call you a cab? It's going to take you a while at this rate. <laughs> 
no, there she goes. Okay, well, I wonder if like maybe this was the house before the convenience store popped up or something, because it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere and also really close to the residential area, but I'm not sure. Okay, should I check the cameras again? I don't know how often I'm supposed to be ca uh, checking these. One of these times, there's gonna be a creepy fucker who crawls out of those things, the, the, the little dark area there. Oh, that's her. Okay, she's she's still going. <laughs> I just saw the legs, I'm like, oh. Whoa. Hey, I saw that. Who the fuck was that? Child? He just poofed into existence. Was it you who was fucking with my fucking... Ooh, you better watch out. Where the fuck did he go? He just sprinted away. Hey. I saw that. Fucking asshole. No ghosts or anything. He's just a spooky little just a spooky little guy playing a prank. That's all. Oh hey, hey Bill, how are you doing tonight? Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Yeah, it is after all the 21st century, isn't it? Anyways, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Huh? Oh, was I supposed to pack something? <laughs> I I don't did the no, it just said the rat oh here, here, here. Okay, okay, good. It's already packed up for me. All right, yep, there you go, good package. See ya, buddy. That kinda looks like the box that I got, too. Wonder if I just, like, sent back the videotape, like, hey, uh, I don't think this one's for me, buddy. Can I get a refund on that one? What am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> and this job is boring. I wonder if this is what it's like to actually work in a convenience store. Because I imagine, like, especially if you're working a really late night shift, that it would probably be pretty fucking quiet until you get, like, one or two random customers that come in. Oh, I wish I had my Switch or something. I could play a little video game back here while I wait or something like that. <laughs> Can't wait for one of those cameras to deadass have a face straight in front of it. Don't say that. No. I- Oh, shit. Okay, second night, I guess. What the fuck? All right, well, my door is closed this time. Okay, so, <laughs> all right. Um, can I, can I get dressed? Do I have to put on a uniform or have I just like not bathed in the last several days? Still no food, okay. Oh, it's raining now. Uh, do I have like a, a jacket I can put on? Oh, an umbrella, okay. Hey, no open umbrellas indoor. It's bad luck or some shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Who is it? <laughs> don't mind me and why I have an umbrella in here. Uh, don't worry about it, all right? Fuck that. Okay, open it, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, uh, all right, we got another video, shall we? Holy hell, that's loud. Okay, watch it. Yes, please. Where is this POV? A plant? I don't... <laughs> is this in the town? I don't actually recognize where, where that is. Who is sending us these tapes? Did I open this door? I don't remember if I closed it behind me or not. Okay, let's let's just go to work. Apparently nothing bad will happen or anything like that. Oh, okay, it's just the rain. It's just very loud rain. All right, we back. <laughs> it almost looks like the parking lot's fucking flooding or something. Okay, okay. Wow, it is so much quieter in here. Okay, hey Steve, where are you? Usually Steve is at the counter for me. Steve? <gasps> Fuck you, Steve! <laughs> On. Boo! Boo you! I got you good, huh? No? I wasn't scared. Okay, okay, fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. Yeah, you better not do it again, or instead of punching in on my car, I'm gonna punch you! Fucking asshole. God. Get out of here, Steve. I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> Alright? God, I fucking have it. <laughs> Okay, what are my tasks? Some products are we're missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. Great motto. Please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. What kind of tasks is Steve doing, huh? Because I haven't seen him do anything so far, alright? Okay, anybody over? <laughs> oh, I saw a fucker. Okay, that was so fucking quick. Did anybody see there was a little there was a little guy and he like crept back from the doorway? Fuck that. No, no, fuck you, you fucking creepy. No, no, I've had enough. I've had enough of this job. Steve doesn't do anything. There's creepy children everywhere and I, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> do I want to go back there even? Okay, first of all, let me restock the shelves. I think I can only pick up one thing at a time because <laughs> my manager will have my fucking head if I don't, if I don't restock this before I die, of course, because restocking the shelves is our motto. Over here. Okay. Restock. Yes, please. Is this magazines? What am I carrying right now? Hey! Fuck that. Hey! 
Who fucking... What the hell? Hey, I got shit to restock here. My manager's gonna be pissed. Hey. Can I see anyone through the holes in the in the shelf? Ow! <laughs> oh. Okay. Yo, he was just a little stuck. His old... <laughs> Everything is fine. It was just a little bit stuck. Nobody... Nobody's in here, right? Hey, I've got some restocking to do, so if you're gonna steal, you just uh, go on ahead and do it while I'm not looking, alright? Because I don't get paid enough to deal with that shit. Alright, there we go. I hope this is the last one. This poster keeps freaking me out. I keep thinking it's somebody's standing there, and it's definitely not, but god fucking Jesus. Where does this one go? Noodles? Oh shit. Hi! Oh my god. I literally heard the door open, and I thought it was just gonna be nothing again. <laughs> Where are your feet? Oh my god. No feet. No feet. Okay, hello? I'm Hamada. Hi, Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Is there? Okay, your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Why so desperate? Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. I don't know. I don't get paid well. I'm just here. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Okay, um, good luck. Try not to die. It's kind of weird that if the manager was so desperate to fix them that he wouldn't leave it in the notes to be like, hey, the aircon is broken. There's gonna be a guy coming in. Or, hey, could you take a look at it? Or something of the sort, you know? Less eventful than I thought. All right, let me, let me just, uh, ring those items up for you I suppose. Can I talk to you? Are you the only one working here? I know right? Why am I the only one working the night shift all the time? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? That's what I'm saying. I see you have no choice. Well at the very least I'll give you my protection charm. Oh thanks. Now be careful. Well we got a protection charm on uh, the other Sheila's art game too. Thank you. That's very nice. I don't know where it went but I have it now. I will say though the, the protection charm did not necessarily work the last time at my old job but you know what? It's better than having nothing I suppose. Hey, who's opening the toilet can? Toilet can? That's not a word, is it? Hey, no spooky ghosts in here. You gotta cloak. Fuck off. Fuck right off, mate. I. Ooh. <laughs> okay, the last time I got locked in the back, somebody came through the door too. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. Okay. Hey! Who made a fucking mess in here? Hey, I had to stock those. It was a lot of hard work, dude. Hey! Hey! Who's looking at my CCTV? That's for my eyes only. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, Steve. If this is your idea of a fucking joke, come out now. <laughs> fucking asshole. Hello? Okay. Everything looks... <laughs> Normal! Everything looks normal is what I was gonna fucking say! <laughs> I don't want to go out there anymore. <laughs> Maybe I can be the one to hide in the closet this time. How's that, Steve? <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. What are these? Pick up talismans? Okay, maybe there's something a little bit weird going on here. Um, okay. Talismans acquired. What are these? It's kind of strange that, you know, the spooky ghost guy is the one giving me the talismans because, um, you know, she's kind of the one that I probably need protecting from. Oh, I never went in there after the spooky kid popped out. Why is this blue? Oh, there's a wrench here. I mean, if I live, maybe I can come back for that. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Exercise the door. Exercise it like exorcism? Yeah, of course, because that's a normal thing to do with a random door that you find in the middle of nowhere in the back of your store. Yeah, 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 that looks, that looks much better. Um, I can't open it, so that's fine. <laughs> Can I pick this up as a weapon? <laughs> oh, what did I click? Oh, open AC. Oh, I thought it was actually going to be a weapon. <laughs> Did that guy come in here and just like not fix the AC? A key? No, no, I don't. No, I. Oh, I don't want to do that, to be honest. <sighs> but just slap the handy convenience for exorcist talismans? Yeah, should we go in? Because now that we've exercised, of course, nothing bad will happen. Steve? Hello? Manager. Oh, my manager. Is this Steve? Fuck. Fuck off. Oh, four. Um, for anyone who doesn't know- Oh, well, okay, I don't know if it's in- This is a Japanese indie horror. I don't know if it's the same in Japanese, but at least in Chinese, four is, like, really bad luck because it's sound. Okay! Four 
always really bad luck because it sounds like the word debt. Um, that's what I was gonna say. Hey, it's occupied in here. We already got two people. The fucking rats! The rats! What the fuck, dude? And the video tapes! <laughs> are you following me? Yeah, of course you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I punched in, alright? I wasn't late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. That is. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, the videotapes. All the videotapes on the floor. It kind of reminds me of like um the the Ring uh, movie where you put the videotapes in and then whoever watches the videotape is the one who's cursed now. And you know what? We have been getting in the mail from who knows who knows who is uh, videotapes, and it looks like we've got another one right here. So that's great. I guess I'm the fucked up one now. Thanks, manager. Thanks for that. Cause you know what too? The delivery person said it was delivered directly to my name too. Not Steve. No, unless that Steve is the manager which it could be i can't really tell honestly but he chose to fucking curse me i swear to god watch closely sure i mean we're fucked already might as well where is this oh this is outside of the the house that we were just at i think who, who who's looking in maybe a creepy crawly child on the floor <laughs> i swear to god if you tell me to go back to work after that shit what a nightmare was it all a dream oh it was a dream unless it wasn't was it a dream i don't think so i don't fucking think so okay here we go like nothing ever fucking happened dude because nothing did we're safe it's just a convenience store. There's no reason I would be getting haunted except for that, for that grandma who uh, got very angry at us because of who knows why. Where the fuck is Steve, dude? Are you actually dead with Steve the manager? I swear to God, Steve, I'm gonna clock you in the face if you drum scare me again. Okay. Hey, where's my punching? How am I... Hey, hey, I'm not working here if I'm not getting paid, all right? You all better count this as clocking in. The whole place is a nope. Oh, the back door is open. I definitely didn't open that. Nobody back there, right? I hate this job. $13. An hour is not enough to deal with this shit. What the actual fuck? Can I, can I just leave? I am not getting paid enough for this. Oh, are these TVs? Turn it on? Huh? Sure, yeah, turn them all on. Huh? Can I check the CCTV? Oh, it's the kid! This is the fucking kid! No, no. Where? 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 Okay, okay, we're fine. Oh, what is he looking at? Who the fuck is this? Is this Cancun? Maybe he looks at the TVs that I'm supposed to turn on or something? Which one is he looking at? Okay, the upper one maybe? Or one of those, maybe the middle? Okay, he's looking up. Okay, and then he looks down. And then he looks middle or down here? I can't tell. All right, okay, so the first aisle, he went over here and he was up. How do I know which one it is? Oh, let me test a theory. Ah, okay. So any of the ones that don't make sound is the right one. Oh, where did he go for this one? Was it this side? This one? He went like down. <laughs> There's so many here. No. Okay, so this one here, good. Was it this one? I've already forgotten. This one? Okay. What was it? It was up, down, up. Was it like a middle? This one? Oh, okay. Nice. Actually, it was kind of a guess, but sure. Maybe the middle one? No. Bottom one? Shit. Not the bottom one either. Top? Huh? This is not my favorite mechanic. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is kind of pulling me out of it a little bit. Huh? Oh, did I do it right? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Who's crying in here? <laughs> hey! Hey, buddy! How's it going? You need any help? What? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
Hello? Anybody over here? <laughs> Let me back in there. Hey. Oh. <laughs> For you home? Yeah, sure. What could go wrong? <laughs> Fourth night. Oh, okay. Do you think maybe these are the different endings? Throw away, ship away? Or watch it? I kind of want to watch it out of morbid curiosity, you know? I mean, I've already watched this many tapes. Yeah, let's fucking watch it. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, dude, let's go. Good heavens, this loud. Hello? Oh my god, my feet! Someone's on my balcony watching my feet. <laughs> no, not for free. <laughs> oh? Oh, I'm on my bed. Oh, I can't move. No, my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> what is that sound? I I can't move. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely sleep paralysis demon. Okay. Am I gonna you gonna come eat my toes or something? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Let me out of here. Let me out. Oh okay. That is really faint. <laughs> I got a steam achievement called ending two, which means there's more than one ending for sure. Okay, do you think it will let me just play through the other endings or do I have to start all over? If it brings me all the way back to the beginning, we'll just watch a video of it because I think it starts me over. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so my theory was that, yeah, you could either put it in the box or you can put it in the trash can. Send it off to someone else. Yeah, okay, are you sure? So it is kind of like the ring sort of idea with like the spooky videotapes because the manager sent it to us so to try and like rid himself of it. He ended up dying anyways. So I don't know what it would accomplish. Oh, there's text, okay. Uh, I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Oh, okay, so you send it back to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forms talking about the locations of where the building was made. Oh yeah, the guy in the very beginning too outside of the store was also trying to warn us. One comment on a strange form stood out to me. It said there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments and in 2009 there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was on the- oh! While his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket when the wife came back it was said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. Oh god. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child in her stomach. Jesus. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images. There was images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and had complained to several colleagues. And on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression, hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet. I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again, and then I received a phone call from Mr. Hoso, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Yeah, manager was fucking dead in the hut. I don't know what you're on about. Then with a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. Of course, it wasn't a fucking dream. When I was asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Jose said that there was old storage behind the convenience store and that he was found there a day after his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed by the front store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I couldn't be able to help but try to pass as quickly as possible as to not look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seemed to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. Okay, so the ghost that we were seeing in the convenience store where we were working was the child and then the really tall lady was probably the mother as well. Third ending, 
Okay, yeah, so it is putting it in the trash for this one. Okay, so for the throwing away when you also get this bed scene. Don't just give us the same ending. That's a little disappointing. Unless there's anything different at the end. You wake up, maybe? Go back to your convenience store? No, that's it. Okay. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for me today. That is it for the convenience store. And overall, I really enjoyed this game, actually. Now, I will say, I feel like a couple of the endings could have been really improved on. I feel like I could have just done, like, one ending and kind of combine everything together because, first of all, the third ending where you throw away the tape is literally just the same ending as if you watch the tape except you don't see the creepy sort of crawly guy peeking through the window so that was a little bit disappointing so this is like a sort of idea that i'm going to toss out there that might have been a little bit more interesting at least in my opinion is maybe you wake up and you return to the store like you have the whole sort of sleep paralysis demon thing kind of nibbling on your toes or whatever you go back to the store everyone is alive everyone is well and maybe the guy that we first saw sitting outside of the store who was kind of like trying to warn us of something but then didn't actually warn us of anything. Maybe he is the one who actually goes on and tells us the wall of text. I do also think that it would be kind of interesting if you made that guy who's sitting outside of the store to maybe be even like a part of the story. Like maybe he was the co-worker that worked with that guy who did the whole thing. Like that would be just like a really small little thing to just kind of slide in there and it would just kind of make it a little bit more interesting. Or maybe you have an ending where you return and everything is like really fucked up. Maybe you return after those couple of years and you kind of see the lady looking at you through the window or something like that. Like that would have been a kind of like a good way to do the wall of text but then also kind of have a visual of it as well but honestly overall it was really fun i still had a really good time because anyways that is gonna be it for me today so thank you guys again so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed i would you leave more of chila's art gameplay videos linked down below and at the end of the video as well in case you want to go and check those ones out because i really like the game developer and i'm excited to see what they do in the future as well as i'll probably go and play some of their past ones as well don't forget to subscribe to me here on youtube and give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it, it helps me out a lot but otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one okay goodbye